If the Congo is the dark heart of Africa, then this must surely be its deepest pit. In the bowels of the earth, men dig through the mud for gold. This country is endowed in minerals, copper, uranium, diamonds and cobalt. And China is after it. At the end of last year, it signed a $9 billion deal with the Congo. In return, China has agreed to build dozens of hospitals, healthcare centres, some 5,000 houses and a couple of universities. It will also build more than 6,000 kilometres of railway lines and roads. Connecting the continent, China is redrawing Africa's economic map, with interests stretching from Zambia to Angola. China is trying to link the copper-producing areas of the south with Central Africa. And in the Congo, China has secured a considerable stake. It will receive 68% of mining revenue. The Congolese government's share is 32%. Rebel leader Lauren Nkunda says this is unacceptable, but not everyone agrees. Uh, the Congolese government definitely, like all the other African countries um, which are doing deals with, with China, uh, they get more than just um, an investment in the resources, they get an investment in its infrastructure, which is extremely important. These huge logs are bound for China. Beijing has locked up the Congo's forest with long-term timber contracts. But critics of China's relentless drive across Africa claim its concessions support corrupt regimes. And human rights groups say some Chinese companies are paying Congolese workers a pittance of less than 40 cents an hour. As China's economy grows, it needs to feed its economic engine. And one of its main sources, increasingly, is Africa. Nicole Johnston, Al Jazeera.